So anyways, I, I was at dinner with Steve Buscemi. Mm -hmm. This is like 25 years ago or something. We're, we're sitting at Dan Tanner's and eating, and then Rickles came over to us, and we we're like, oh, my God, this is, this is happening right now. And he says to Buscemi, something like, uh, I, you know, maybe 23, whatever years ago, he says something about, I saw your movie. Uh, Mr. Pink, more like Mr. Stink. <laughs> Something like that, and Boucher was like, ah, laughing. And then he laughs, and he goes, ooh, maybe get some braces. <laughs> Something like that. And then, uh, and then he sees me, and he goes, ooh, and you. And I go, hey, how you doing? And he's like, I think it was Happy Gilmore or something. He goes, oh, Happy Gilmore, watch the whole thing. Wow, amazing how no talent can get you a movie. I was like, yes, yes. I don't know if it's a great story, but my wife's grandmother... <laughs> It's, it's, it, 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 it's okay. It ends up okay. But my wife's grandma is 99. So 99? 99. So we had a, oh, okay. a good lady. So we had a, a nice a birthday uh, party for her, for her uh, this uh, past weekend. And um, so anyway, she's 99 and she's sleeping at our house. And in the middle of the night, uh, I hear this terrifying scream. And she's ah! And I woke up, uh oh, something happened. I go down and grandma fell and she mm -hmm. fell. Everything was all right. She didn't get badly hurt. She just like uh, hurt her knee, but it was okay. And she was uh, frantic and who are you? And I said, it's Adam, it's Adam. And nervous about everything. Got her back to bed. She was laughing by the end. Everything was good. So then the next night I'm laying in bed and I hear the same scream. And I was like, oh boy. And that whole day during her birthday, I kept telling her it was my birthday too, as a joke. I was saying, oh, yeah. why is everybody celebrating you? It's mine too, blah, blah. She's like, it is? I said, yeah, yeah. And then the end of the night, the end of the night, I told her, it's not really my birthday, and blah, 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 blah. So anyways, I go downstairs after the scream, and she didn't fall this time. She, I said, Grandma, what happened? She's like, I had a bad dream. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. And she goes, who are you? And I said, it's Adam, it's Adam. She goes, happy birthday. <laughs> Swear to God. It was so funny. This movie, uh, Jack and Jill, is uh, uh, Katie Holmes, who's married to Tom Cruise. And yes. you, you're like buddies with Tom Cruise. How, I, how, did, how did you meet him? How long have you guys been friends? I don't even know how it happened. Oh, he hosted Saturday Night Live years ago, and I yeah, got to sure. meet him there. And uh, he's a great guy, and uh, we were at dinner. Uh, me and Cruz and uh, Katie and my wife, and we were eating, and uh, we were getting ready to shoot the picture, and uh, he's, uh, he says, this is weird that my wife's going to be your wife uh, in the movie. That's very weird. It's, it's bizarre. And I was like, it's a PG movie. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing, nothing's going to happen. You know that. I said, in fact, anything I do with your wife in the movie, you, you can do with my wife in real life. <laughs> and so just every morning I would go to the set, and I'd hear my wife go, Please do a love scene. <laughs> My father in real life was not a very, wasn't selfish. He was all about his family. But no, but then I, I think, but I think the weirdest <laughs> thing he did was the, the, the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, he named the dog Adam. <laughs> and, uh, he'd always say, Adam, Adam, come in here. And I'd come in and he'd go, not you, the dog. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was like, I am going to be in the military. I'm going to defend our... I, that's all I ever talked about in my house. Like, I'm going, I, I'm defending, I am... This is what I'm made for. And then I was like 15 at the dinner table, and I was saying that same speech. I can't wait to join the military. My father goes, you're not joining the military. And I go, why not? He goes, because you're a pussy. <laughs> I got a girlfriend. That, I read in the paper I had a fiancé, but I don't. I have a girlfriend, and she's... <laughs> She's a very nice girl. And, uh, She's younger than you, I understand? Oh, yes. But you're a kid yourself. I mean, how, how old a guy are you? You're like in 24 or something like that? <laughs> something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you have a very youthful appearance. I, yeah, I, I act young yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting older. I'm 32. Yeah, no, she's an eight-year eight difference, me and the girl. And uh, So what would that be? Eight years, you're 32? I'm not sure, but... <laughs> I know this, though. We figured out that when she was five years old and learning to read, I was 13 and learning to read. <laughs> <laughs> well, David, uh, by the way, David, we do this little comedy tour, we're running around, and I bring my kids sometimes on the comedy tour, and we get on the plane, and David sometimes will be with a, a different lady. 
Uh-huh. And, 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 you know, I don't know what to say anymore. So I, I just, uh, every, every time now my kids look, they're like, is this the, this is someone, I just go, that's another one of David's sisters. <laughs> Besides your face, what body part do you look at the most in the mirror? Uh, I, I don't want to look at it, but the thing... I don't want to look at it at all. It just happens. I, uh, that's what I see. This is the, the truth. My grandfather was a cab driver here in New York for many years, for like 30 years. Yeah. And uh, so I was driving here. I took a cab to come here. And I, and, uh, I told the cab driver while, while I was driving here, I was like, hey, buddy, my grandfather was a cab driver, too. So wow. good, good job. Yeah. I, he always told me a lot of stories. Good, you know, you guys work real hard. And do great things for the city, way to go, you know, thanks man. And he turned back and he said, death to all Jews. <laughs> I mean, that's what my grandfather used to say. <laughs> now, your folks are in town? Yes, my folks are here. They're staying with you? <laughs> they just came out here. I'm very nervous about that. Now you seem, why, why would you be nervous? Get tense around my folks, because yeah. I want them, I love them so much, I want them to have a good time, and I don't know how to do anything i'm not a good host you know normally i go home and i you know i whatever they i go to their life so i i say to my dad and i said dad i'm nervous about you coming and he goes don't be nervous we'll do i, I said i don't know what you want to do i go and he goes we'll do what you do we'll adjust you we'll do what you do and we'll do what you do so apparently this weekend they're gonna lay in bed and masturbate all day <laughs> So when I shot the movie, I was so in, 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 excited about getting to know jewelry and stuff. And they gave me one of the, you know, the loop thing. The magnifies. The magnifies the thing. Yeah. And so, yeah, I started looking at everybody's jewelry to see if it was good or bad. <laughs> and then, this is the weirdest thing I discovered. Because of the loop, I have a penis. I had no <laughs> idea. My big sexual move, the, uh, the only thing I, I, on occasion, I change speeds. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Back and forth, you know, change speeds and to, to, you know, change it up a little. But you know, like I'll go uh, slow, fast, slow, that kind of thing. And if, it, <laughs> and if, uh, if they like that, I'll give the double fast with a slow twist. <laughs> Who's a better kisser, Jen Aniston or Drew Barrymore? Uh oh. That's a tough one. They can only break hearts this answer, so I'm gonna have to go with Chris Rock. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. So I get to go to the greatest event. But my team's not there, so it's just very weird, you know? You just don't know what to feel. It's like going to an orgy. <laughs> and, and just, like, there's no one you really want to be with, so you just kind of sit in the middle and go, hey. <laughs> you guys, do it. Do it. Have fun. <laughs> so repeating your dad's habits? So you become A little your... bit. Yeah, no, that yeah. happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, he's a great man. I'm not as cool as my old man, but I'm stealing some of his tricks. Like, yeah. when he used to talk to my mom, he always... Every time he, he gambled on the golf course, yeah. And every time he would say a number, he would take a zero off it. That was his big move. And my my mother would say, "How much uh, did you did you bet?" And he'd say, thirty dollars." And I knew it was three hundred dollars. So, <laughs> yeah. so now I kind of steal that thing, at, the zero thing at my house with, with my girl. She'll say, "How many ice cream sandwiches did you have?" I say, two. <laughs> <laughs> my dad. Uh, my dad's a very good golfer, so I. Uh, I was golfing with him a lot, and it was nice, you know, getting to see my dad a lot. Yeah. And he bought me a putter. He bought all, you know, I show up to the uh, pro shop, and he goes, I got you a putter, kid. And then uh, he gives me the putter, and it says, to my best pal, love dad on it. And I was like, oh, my God, that's nice. That's nice. He's a nice, he's a nice dad. And, uh, <laughs> and so, anyways, I, I, I play with the, I putt and whatever. But, you know, I go back out to California, away from my dad, and the thing is, I, it's not a good putter. <laughs> and... Uh, and I, I don't play very well with the putter, and it never goes well. I, I, I just don't play well, but I always see that, that to my best pal, love that on. I'm like, I gotta, gotta play with that putter, you know? <laughs> Feel very guilty, but uh, finally, like five months later, I called my dad up and I said, Dad, uh, I appreciate the gift. It was very nice of you, and I love you. Uh, it's just that uh, I don't putt good with that putter, and uh, I was wondering if I could maybe uh, go get another putter, and he goes, I gave you a putter? <laughs> dad. We're in Oahu, we're having a great time. I always gotta force my kids to get out of the pool and go to the, to the beach. I'm like, let's go to the beach. If you got a pool at home, come on, let's get in the uh, Hawaiian water. 
So oh, I don't want to. It's rough. The water's rough. I said, it's fine. Blah, blah, blah. I buy them two tubes that they can sit in. I, I, I'm like, just sit in the tubes. But, you know, <laughs> do, that, do that. So my, my big one is sitting, my 10-year-old. She's sitting in the tube, and I'm watching, and I'm videoing her. And I'm, why is I'm videoing? I'm like, this looks like a big wave coming. <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, oh, God, no. And she gets, she's perfectly facing the wave, gets hit, does a flip, <laughs> lands on her feet, but I can see she shook up. Wow, she on shook her feet. Her, lands on her feet. Like, we would not expect that to happen. <laughs> no. But she lands on her feet. I'm videoing, and I, did, and I go, I, I better say something quick. I go, I got that on video. <laughs> And like, she, she was so happy. Oh, she was. She gets tricked into like, oh, yeah, that was supposed to happen. I go, come here, look at that. Yeah, I'll show you. And she's like, yeah, it landed on my feet. I'm like, that's right, you did. You're the greatest. You're a gymnast, blah, blah, blah. No crying. Then literally a minute later, my other one, same position. I see the wave coming. I'm just watching. Boom, flip. She looks ter terrified, looks back at me. Did you get that? I, go, I, I didn't. I didn't get that. Have you ever, when's the last time you got pulled over? I get pulled over sometimes and we have nice conversations. How's and, it work? You know? uh, pretty, pretty good. Driver, it works out pretty good. Driver's license, registration, and then you say what? It, 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 uh, it usually, it goes like, sir, do you know Sandman? <laughs> <laughs> First grade, I had a little crush on Miss Coletsis. I wouldn't raise my hand to go to the bathroom. I would pee myself. And, how, and how is that a move? Here's how it worked. Because then she had to change me. And then, so whenever, whenever she was changing me, I was like, here we are. <laughs> the big, the thing I noticed, Dave, is uh, uh, I'm getting older, and a little, uh, you know, the, my my body has changed over the last few years. It's not as not not good. It's not as good. Mm -hmm. It's not. It was never awesome, but it was uh, it was better, you know. Right. And I remember. In what regard is it is it changing? It's getting a little thicker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thicker. But everything still works, though, right? Oh yeah, that yeah. stuff's all right. <laughs> it's not. It's not very good. I use it, but it doesn't. I don't use it right. I guess. Uh, I've never heard anyone say "good job." Yeah. <laughs> but um, but here's the thing uh, that I noticed with uh, getting a little uh, not as handsome uh, and a uh, little the body not as good. And then my shirt coming off. Now, when I was younger, and, and if I was whatever, if I was with a girl, I was whatever, and we were moving on to that level, and I had to take my shirt off, I was almost looking forward to it. I was like, right. hey, I, I'm going to surprise her with this. This is how pretty we make good, the deal. That's yeah, right. Check this out. Not Here only we is go. He, yeah, pretty funny, and, and look at the abs. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm uh, with my girl, I take my shirt off, I'm like, at, le at least I'm nice. You're being too hard on yourself. Nah. My two daughters are little and they fall asleep in the bed with me and my wife a lot. And so they're always there and they're the best. And I love them more than anything. They snuggle with you and all that stuff. But, you know, I am a grown man. I do like to have sex. And so I, I mean. Well, this is the place to call attention to that right here. He's a grown man. He likes to have sex. No, I mean, all right. So. So anyways, I'm li lying in bed with, with the wife and the two kids are sleeping the next wife. to us. The wife, I call it. <laughs> and so we're laying there and we're both up and the two kids are sleeping. And I was like, hey, you know, we could, let's pull this. Can we do this here? And she's like, no, you don't do that with the kids in the bed. I was like, I, I, I don't move that much. I'm not going to wake them. You know? but, but I didn't, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not a flexible guy. So anyway she says no we're not doing that you can get arrested or whatever so i say all right oh, God. So, so anyway so i say can we go down the hall they're not using their bed right so <laughs> why not now well, that makes well, perfect sense thank you david i knew you'd back me yeah. up so uh so anyways we get into my littlest kid's bed and flip the lights off and i went at it pretty good and <laughs> I, 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 I did some serious da damage in there and uh after the fact, I said, wasn't that great? Wasn't that worth it? And she goes, what, watching you bang Elmo? <laughs> it wasn't her. Oh. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs>
But I told I told my wife I really did think it was you, and I did a great job. Uh-huh. And then I I finished the deal because it was the first time I ever heard you say la 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 la. Uh-huh. <laughs>